ways that you can learn using virtual classes. Good morning, everybody. Has that had a good day so far? Yeah. Is anybody here at that for the first time? Oh, you're in for a treat. Okay, my name is Graham Bowman, and I work for Tablet Academy. Tablet Academy is a, a device agnostic company. We work with all types of manufacturers. We work with lots of partners. Um, I am a Google certified trainer and a Google certified innovator, and I've been working with Google Expeditions and virtual reality in general for about a year and a half now. This is all very new, but it's going to be big. Everybody that tries it, if you've tried it already, you'll know it's a fascinating experience. I'm going to talk you through a few of the ways that we've used virtual reality within schools and in educational contexts. So, for those of you that aren't sure, virtual reality is all about using 360 degrees images or videos or interactive environments. Students can look around, they can use the viewers, they can look up, they can look down, they can look left, they can look right, and they feel like they're part of that environment. So instantly the engagement is right up there because they are taken to another place. They're not in their classroom, they're in space, or they're underwater, or they're inside a body. And then because their engagement is so high, the curiosity also rises. So they are active, they're asking questions. When we do this session with schools, we have some quite quiet classes and the teachers always say, that student never speaks, never asks a question. And then when we use virtual reality, the hands are up, they're asking questions, they're answering questions. It's just incredible as a learning tool. So if you want to bring virtual reality into your classroom, there's a few options. You can build your own kit or you can buy a kit. And we like to support both options. So as we're a training company, and a cons consulting company, we can talk to you about what it takes to build a virtual reality kit. So we can do a consultancy day, talk to you about all the things that we know, all of our expertise, and how to build a kit. It is complex, okay? The applications are very simple to use. You need to look at mobile phones, or viewers. You need to look at an Android phone with a gyroscope. It's difficult to do the research to find a specific model that you can get in good quantities for a decent price with the, the right spec. Okay? You need to think about storage, you need to think about charging, what router are you going to use, all these things we can help you with. The other alternative is to purchase the kit and we provide that as well. So over here we've got our virtual reality kit and it comes complete as a package ready to go. So we've got the number of viewers that you request, all the charging is built in, this one includes magnetic charges, so we just rip the charges out, give that to the students. So within three minutes, and I did this on Tuesday, you can have your kit ready to use. On Tuesday I actually went into a, a primary school, and as I got there, and the teacher was just starting the register, and he said, oh, um, just go and set up, I'm ready, ready to register. So I took my router, get no cables, straight into the wall, no trip hazards, put that in, and while that's booting up, like I said, undo the chargers, Hello, put these all out on the table, and from my tablet, I have a screen. Can you just swap me over? I've got a screen where I've got a few options, and the best option I've got is no signal. That's a fantastic option. Can you switch me back? Just switch it back, it's alright, I'll just talk through it. So I've got a screen and I've got some options to remotely control the devices. So I can open apps, I can close apps, I can mute the sound, I can even switch off the devices. Okay? So I can open up Expeditions on viewers and Expeditions. Has anybody used Google Expeditions before? Fantastic, it's brilliant and it's getting better and better all the time. I can open that up on the devices, open Expeditions on my device and then we're ready to go. So these three devices at the moment are connected to this screen. And do you want to have a look through here? If you've used it before, no problem, just pass it back. Let everybody have a go with those three. I'm just going to talk through a few examples briefly and then we'll have all the devices going out and you can all have a go. So this particular example, 
This is a school called Lidget Green Primary School. And this is based up in Bradford. The aim with this project was to give students an idea of the scale of the solar system. Where we, our planet Earth, fit into that system. Okay? Now the reason for this was the school were introducing a rewards and behaviour system based around planets. So they wanted the students to move to different planets based on their behaviour, whether they go towards the sun or away from the sun. And they wanted the students to know where the planets were in relation to each other. Okay? Where the big planets were, where the small planets were, different conditions, all that kind of thing. So we took 11 different classes, just send them back if you like, just send that back to the... That's working, that's fine. So the, the, the teacher who contacted me said they wanted all the classes to know about space and planet and we took 11 classes through that experience in one day and the kids were buzzing, they were really interested in this topic and they didn't know that this was their behaviour system, they just knew that it was really cool and so they, they, were, they were hooked on that idea and they were really interested. Another project that we looked at was with a school called Telford Park School. This is based in Shropshire. And the geography teacher um, contacted us and, and they wanted to introduce the topic of volcanoes, but in a different way. So we, we took the VR into the school. The school has some quite challenging students. Um, and those students, all students, were gripped, as always. Engagement was high. And they were listening. And for the, the teacher was telling me there was particular students in particular classes that they have real trouble with. And all those students were listening and they were listening to the content. So the teacher was able to explain the different areas of the volcano, point them out on the screen, and those students would get a much richer learning environment. We also used, within that project, a 360 degree video. Because we've got remote control, of the Android devices. Can we get the volcano video on, please? Because we've got remote control, we have 363 videos stored on the devices, and they can play locally, so there's no need to send any video back and forth over the Wi-Fi. All we send is a signal, start playing that video. And then all the students are watching the same video at the same time, and it's the video that you'll see a small clip of on the, uh, the bottom left of there. Is it playing? It's going very slowly, it's just a gif. So, they're all in this video of a volcanic eruption, and you'll see an example of this once our fantastic helpers get the videos out to you. In a school context, there is very little Wi-Fi interference compared to a huge technology conference where you've got 650 wireless access points, and if you try to put any more than four, access, uh, four devices on, it kills them. So, this video starts off, all the students are watching a volcanic eruption, but well, this particular video starts off very calm, very moody. And we can see some birds flying away. I'm going to put, an exam I'm going to put the video on because it's very difficult to explain without seeing it. So I'm going to put it on the screen for you. So imagine you're, you're in your class. You've just learned all about volcanoes. And then you're going to experience an actual volcanic eruption. Can we have sound to the laptop, please? So you'll see on this screen, you've got a duplicated image. That's because it uses one for your left eye and one for your right eye to enhance the 3D aspect. Showing it on the screen, it's not fantastic. The experience is designed for virtual reality. Beautiful. And dangerous.
I've said, this video is building up the tension. They already know what the volcano is. And all of a sudden we see this eruption start. And everyone starts to look in the same direction. And when you're immersed in this environment, it's so realistic. You see everyone's heads moving. The rocks fly at you. All the children move out of the way. And at that moment, they are hyperactive. <laughs> Younger students, when we're doing this, start screaming. Now, we don't, our intention is not to scare them. Our intention is to get them gripped about what such a fascinating topic volcanoes are. And it really does work. The next project... Oh, sorry, can you pass the viewers back to the front? And we're going to get our helpers to put on the... or start to get ready the next viewers. Just give it to three minutes, guys. Thank you very much. While I talk about the next project. So the next project was Paul Academy down in Cornwall. And the aim here was to give students a, an experience of life during World War I and World War II. And this was based around Remembrance Day. So I, I worked with the, the head of history and we talked about what we wanted from the experience. And I, I put together a plan and put it to him and it, it, it sounded good. We were going to go into the trenches, see what the life was like during the war. We and then went to Ypres and looked at many gates, all the memorials and the graveyards, looking at the after effects of war. And then we looked at a refugee camp in Lebanon. And that's another, another one of the Google Expeditions locations. And that was to give an idea of the effects of war on current day. I've got a video to play you now, so I'm going to have some sound through the, the laptop again. And this video explains the, the project from the, the school's perspective and from the student's perspective. The school in Cornwall have been exploring the battlefields of World War One without even leaving the classroom. Year 8 children at Paul Academy were given virtual reality headsets to experience what it was like for soldiers in the trenches. John Danks has a story. What are these people doing? They're cooking, good. A 360 degree view of trench warfare. And so realistic, it's worth checking you're not really there. What country do you think that gun was made in? Germany! They've loved it. Generally, the classes have been quite small. But those that have had it the minute the bombers went on, they just they immerse themselves in the experience. And for many of those children, that was a different way of learning, which really brought the subject matter of the day, Remembrance Day today, and to the forefront for them. You get to learn more and see what actually happened. Oh, it felt weird at first because um, you, know, like you might miss them, you do get used to them after a while, and it's just really clever. We're going to have a look at a video of a battle scene. Let's see how you feel while you're watching this video. <laughs> because it felt like you were actually there and it was like really realistic. You could see all the people like when I was cooking things in the trenches and all the tanks moving and the, gun, the, and the bullets in the air. We're now going to go over to Belgium to Ypres to a place called Essex Farm Cemetery. We're going to go somewhere else also in Ypres. This is outside of Menin Gates. A unique way to experience the past and the true realities of war. John Danks, BBC Spotlight, full. Incredible, isn't it? So that was a part of the news report that was on the BBC News based around that project. And it was such a powerful way to cover that topic for the students. And, and the school was so happy with the results. And the students, they, they loved it. And they were so gripped in. Next project I'm going to talk to you about is a project that we did with Goreswood Primary School in Rumcorn. Can we send the, uh, the devices back out again with the help video? So this one was um, a literacy project 
So the APA was to stimulate a piece of writing, a piece of descriptive writing, and we used a 360 degree video that was created by the Google Spotlight team. Now Google Spotlight creates 360 degree videos to show off what the 360 video can do. And this particular one was the first that they'd done using real actors. So they did it on a blue screen. They did have an incredible amount of special effects, incredible amount of processing power and data and all that kind of thing. But the result is amazing. Okay? The students feel part of the action. They feel part of this dramatic video. It takes them on an emotional journey, and I'll play part of this video in a second. Now, in fact, I'll play part of this video now and I'll speak a bit more after. Are you ready? describe their emotions, how they felt, and the, the words develop into some really, really interesting words, use of language, coming out of things like, I was petrified, I was terrifying, or I was really curious at the beginning, and then it's a bit like E.T. goes back home. So that piece of content, with the use of VR, the fact that it can be seamlessly played in synchronisation with all the students, the speakers coming through your classroom speakers, creates a really, really emotive response. So, at this point, hopefully you're thinking, that's fantastic, we need this in our school. We want to improve the learning outcomes of our students in geography, history, science, English, art. You can go to museums, you can go to art galleries, you can go underwater. 
Yeah, like I said before, you've got two ways of going about a kit. You can create your own kit, you can purchase a kit. You're attached to that, <laughs> If you create your own kit, the cost is going to be varied. You need to look at all the different costs of the components, the time to put it together, all that kind of thing. For our costs, our kits, we supply it in four different quantities, depending on your needs. So we go for 10, 15, 20, 30 viewers. That includes the phones, the viewers, the chargers, the router, the tablet, the case, everything's included. And we also include two half days of training. So we deliver this to your school if it's UK based, or we ship it out to you if you're international based. And we do a half day's training with your staff. Because we want this to be used. We do not want it to go the way that smart boards and iPads and all that kind of thing are going. 